Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Today I'm going to be building a cat house. Uh, in my last episode, I was teaching you how to make all the different colors of wool. Uh, not necessarily all the different types of wool you'll need for this particular project, but uh, this is showing you all the different types of colors of wool you can make. Uh, we're only going to be using uh, this many colors, so like a gray, lime, light, uh, white, pink, and black. Black was the absolute hardest wool to make. Uh, unless you're lucky and you find tons of sheep that are black, then you're good to go. If you don't, then you have to go and kill squids to get their ink sacks. And uh, it took me, I would say, maybe four hours or more. Uh, many, many days and nights uh, killing, hunting squid to make black wool. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make our front uh, and then we're going to we're going to need 60 for the floor. That's for the nose. And then we'll start building the black part because this is going to take me longer. Uh, what second? Uh, shears are a good thing because we'll need shears. I believe this is what I did last time. I've done this twice. Uh, one of the recordings sucked, so I have to take it apart and do it again. So let's build uh, our floor. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. Oops. And that was, uh, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you need to dink in there a bit. Yes, I said dink in there. Uh, I think I'm gonna need two more white wool for that spot. Cause I th remember, we'll find out in a second. And the reason I'm going to do the black first uh, is because at nighttime you can't see what you're doing, uh, even if you have tons of uh, uh, torches around. Oh, Ken, what have I done? Um, see, I need five for. See, I think that's what I did. I think I came in at least one more with the white. So we'll take these two. Because that would make sense. Because I haven't added or taken away. And again, once I when I took apart a couple stuff, a couple things, I uh, forgot to pick them up, and I think they disappeared over time. So let's get this back. See, I need two more. Yes, yeah, so there's my two. Nice. Okay, so there's my two. That's my walkway into the cat. Uh, we'll build the black part of the cat first. Like I said, it'll be easier to do it now than later. Uh, just like the black cat, this is where I got the idea from, this guy's head. He's uh, basically 10 squares. His head is actually longer than, like the front is square, but if you look at it from the side, it's a uh, rectangle. But I make my cat house square, so it's 10 by 10. Uh, if you can count the eyes, uh, the white part of the eyes is 4, the green part's 4, the black's 4, the green's 4, the white's 4. So uh, 4 times 5 is 20, or 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten across, and then ten back. Uh, so that's one, and we're gonna have to do it in in stages. Uh, so I think this was my marker for the edges of my. And you can hear my zombies uh, down below, my zombie spawner of hell. Do do do. I think that goes there. And I'm going to have to build it up in layers without falling off. This should be fun. Nice. Not falling off. Oh. Ah. Wrecked it. Hmm. Ah. Oh. That sucked. Uh, again, shears are the fastest way of ripping these suckers back up. So I'm going to have to also make a walkway up. So I'm going to leave this spot open. And then we'll continue on building a staircase kind of thing. This so I can get to the roof. The roof's the hardest part. Especially when you're building in black wool. Do do. Uh, grab another stack. Um... That's for the nose, that's right. Uh, we'll need all of these today. 
Uh, like and also um, the front of the cat uh, face, the the gray, the pink, gray, and then the light gray along the bottom. Uh, that all sticks out. If you can see the cat from an angle, it sticks out. There you go. And like the front of the cat sticks out. So that goes along this front. I think I'm muffing up, guys. Because that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Do I have to build there? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I got it. I got it. Everybody's okay. I'm remembering now. This is what happens when you do it yesterday and then you do a ton of other things. Okay. Why do I miss it? Silly. Shut up, cats. Trying to tick me off. Oh, I thought I could make it. I think that's going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. and Because I kind of keep muffing up there. And it's not working sometimes. For me. Oh, no. No. Oh, well. Okay. Don't you fall. Don't you fall again. I don't have any. I think I'm making a scaffold. Just so that I can get back up if I fall. I'm not sure how high I've gone so far. It looks like. One, two, three. So that's two. I'll have to take this black one back. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm pretty sure I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high. So it's uh, not completely square, is it? So what did I say? One, two, three, four, five. Don't you. Ugh! Too much time. No time to waste, people. Got to bridge the gap sometime. One, two, three. Ah! Can't count black wool. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four. I'm only on fifth level. I'm gonna build up to the eighth. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I know where I'm going to be. This is gonna be the hard part, right here. Because I'm gonna have to use my shift and stop running backwards, Ken. Look at that precision. Let's get across. And the ears I discovered don't look good unless you put them only one block in from the front and one block in from the side, but they've gotta be, uh, you can make them too high. Uh, and then you can make them four square if you want uh, or just too high or sorry like a, a single layer I guess you could say this is the fastest I've built the roof always muff it up so far so good though again you can imagine how hard this is be when it gets nighttime and again the the torches don't illuminate did i make oh gosh thought i made it too wide
So like I said, it is now nighttime. So now I'm going to work on the front of the house. So at least we can see what we're doing and I'll finish the rest in the morning. Okay. So now we need, uh, I believe black here. Nope. Sorry. Uh, Got a little diagram to help me out. So we're going to use the gray wool. Uh, this one for this side, this one for that side. And then the doors. So that goes there. That goes there. And then we put our doors here. One. And we'll grab the other door. And that's going to be the bottom of the mouth. I'm just going to put a couple of black uh, pieces of wool here so at least I can get up on top. Okay, so on the other side, I wonder if I can walk across doors. Oh, my goodness, I can walk across doors. So uh, here is going to be uh, um, dark wool or gray wool. There and there. And then we go over here, and then this is going to be pink. This is going to be the nose. The nose. Why don't I put the pink there? And then I'm going to go back to my light gray. Or my dark gray, sorry. Uh, but up first, I'm going to do white. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, this is right up to here. Um, so let's do dark gray there and dark, dark. Okay, so this is the part of the mouth, uh, of the face of the cat that sticks out. So right here is where I'm gonna be putting my white wool and that's the cat eyes. Actually, Uh, I have pressure plates too. You need four pressure plates and you put them there and that opens the doors and put two there. That way you can get in and out of the kitty cat. Look at this. Okay, that's good. Uh, so that's the, again, the uh, bottom of the mouth. So you can see he's got light gray across the bottom. That's my light gray. And then he's got dark gray on either side of the nose, dark gray on either side of the nose. And then the eyes go back. So I put too many black pieces, pieces of wool. So I'm going to do that, that, that. Because this needs to be white. It's going to be difficult to see. Um, let me put a white one down so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and then get my shears. Knock that out, knock that out. Grab wool. There, there. I'm just going to grab those black pieces of wool. Best thing about building a cat house is creepers Creepers will never bother you. Uh, creepers hate cats. Uh, so that comes in very handy when you're building a cat house because you have your cats around, unless you haven't got your cats yet. And we'll put our two white. And then I need two more white, guys. Sorry, kitty. I just jumped right on the kitty's back. Uh, two more white. One, two. Okay. There we go. And then that's the outside of the eye. And then we get our two stacks of four. I was going to say piles. One, two, three, four. And it's black in between the eyes. One, two, three, four. And we'll go black. One, two, three, four. Let's go take a peek at what we have done. Let me just uh, take away this. Oh, I just wrecked it. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Nothing I couldn't fix. And that grass will have to grow back. So here we go, guys. Ready? And there you go. So that's the front of the face. That was uh, just sometimes I forget where I am. And again, with the black... Uh, wool you can't see what's going on so i'm just going to fast forward to the daytime and then we'll finish our uh black 
part of the head. I think we need to go up one more. Again, I can't see. Nope, that's right. That's right, the right height. Had to put the tower behind it. That's my uh, sp zombie spawner tower. So the zombies, my spawner for the zombie thing was up high enough that I had to, or as close enough to the um, surface that I had to build my elevator above the surface, which kind of made a really neat uh, monolith tower. And there's my... Uh, My cottage, my fishing cottage, fishing cottage two, my zombie spawners down there. Uh, so I'm, again, I'm going to fast forward to the daytime. All right. All right, guys, I guess it's daytime enough. Um, I'm going to also need just a scaffold to get up the back. And I'll use my white wool. Because I don't think I left room for myself to get up there. Well, I guess I did. But we'll put a bit of a scaffold. I know I'm going to fall off. Plus, I want to build this properly. Do, do, and do, 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 do. I'm just going to go up on top and finish those ears. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure it is one block in. And one block there. And then you just put four. Um, it's hard to see. Uh, there we go. One block in. And then four. Let's go check to see if that looks great. On the cat's head, though, the ears are actually way further back. But when you're down on the ground, see, it looks fine. That's the best place to put them. And again, you can make them four like make more of a four by four by four uh, if you wanted to twenty more blocks of wool to go and then we are done see something's oh there we go I'm like there's something wrong here Nice. So I have 13 left over, so you can subtract that from my total at the beginning if you want to know exactly how many you need. So that's it. That's the back is done. Let's grab that last one. The side's done. If you want to put some patterns on the side, you go right ahead. Let's go check the inside. Uh, let's put up some torches. See if we can illuminate the interior like I said it's black wool so good luck uh, see I can't even see what's going on there we go and again no matter no no matter how many torches you put up you just can't seem to light enough in here I can't put oh this looks ugly um, oh look I put an extra block there so that's 14 extra that I have uh, oh my gosh, I missed the hole upstairs. What the heck is going on? Let's get up there and finish that. How did I manage that? Dude. I might have to go higher. So, this is where my extra blocks were from. That's funny. Okay, so there we go. So I only have eight extra blocks, which kind of makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Now, before we allow our cats in, we got a cat's love to sit on chests. And I like to make them a bed. So if you want to decorate, go ahead and decorate. So put some chests down, and you'll see them all gravi gravitate towards the uh, chests. one there I think one there and one there and I have an extra one where does the extra one go maybe I have an extra two yes there and there and then I grab well I actually have even more and I'll put that there and that there um, you can put more stuff in here obviously 
So there you go. That's decorating the inside of the cat house. I guess one thing I'd do maybe is to put some uh, artwork up uh, and that will help make it maybe a little bit more lighter in here. So now we can right click on our kitties and we'll allow them into their brand new cat house. The hard part is getting them to sit because as soon as they come in, they go for it. See that? Oh, and of course you click on things. How can I sleep at night? I understand that. Oh, there you go. Sit. And then you can push them into a spot if you want. They're pretty obedient. There you go. You just push them in. Ben taught me this. And then you click on the ones that are sitting already, and they will stay sitting, I believe. Oh, he's trying to be pushy. I think that's it. If, I, if you walk to the other side of the room, then hopefully they'll... There we go. So there you go, guys. There's the cat house. The cats are safely inside. I'm actually missing a couple cats. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's two more outside, I think. There's one. And if anybody can tell me why, when I come back on my... Uh, I'm going to leave you outside, kitty. I'm going to leave you outside, too. No, 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 no. Sit. Uh, when I come back on a rail, uh, on a mine cart, they, all the cats stop sitting and they come to me. So I don't know why they do that. I'm not sure if it's part of the last update or whatever. Uh, I'm going to just turn that off. There you go. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to rate, subscribe. Uh, somebody asked me to do a dog house next and uh, I'm going to make it in the shape of a dog. All right, guys. So thanks for your suggestions. Thanks for all your comments. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps Ben and I out. And we will talk to you in the next episode, which will be tomorrow. See you guys. Bye.